Good evening and welcome. We're just going to take um, a little longer. We're going to wait a little longer because the weather is absolutely, it's chucking it down out there. So we know that, um, and we're expecting quite a few people um, to come yet. So maybe while we're waiting, and for those who've been to St. Ethelbrogas before, you'll know this, this will be familiar. Maybe you could find somebody who you don't know and the question this evening is, what do you know about the Caucasus? When you think of the Caucasus, what comes to mind? And maybe you could share that with somebody you don't know.
Good evening and welcome to Listen to the World. Is there anybody here for the first time this evening? Okay, lovely and especially warm welcome to you. Um, the place that you're sitting in here, um, St. Ethelberga's Centre for Reconciliation and Peace, was once St. Ethelberga's Church. And um, it is over 800 years old, the ground on which it sits. And in 1993, the IRA planted a bomb not intended for the church, but intended to do as much harm to the city as possible. Um, and the whole church was reduced to rubble. And the um, Archbishop of London at the time was new, and he took this on as a project. And from the rubble emerged St. Ethelberga Center. Um, one of the things that was both a character of the church that was here and then as the center is welcoming people from across the world. And I was thinking this evening when thinking about Daria and um, Marina about a guest who we had many years ago, he was Russian. And as he was leaving, he'd been here several times, he said, you know, I love this place. When I asked him why, he said, no religion, all religion, no nation, all nation. Um, and I thought that was a really wonderful way of expressing um, one of the qualities and characters of uh, characteristics of St. Ethelberga's. Um, so a really warm welcome wherever you have come from um, and whether you arrived yesterday in the UK or whether you have deep, long ancestral roots here. The, um, tonight we have, as many of you know, we are delighted to welcome Daria Kulesh and Marina Osman otherwise known as Firebirds. And we are going to be listening to songs that I think are quite magical and enchanting and in languages that may be familiar or unfamiliar. So please give a very warm welcome to Daria and Marina, Firebirds. Thank you so much. Just me for for start starters, and uh, I would like to invite you on a journey. But first, let's play a game. Uh, guess the language game. I will sing you a little song, and you will try to tell me which language it's in. Some of you might be at slight advantage here because you might have heard it before. And of course, a big welcome to this absolutely magical space with such dramatic, haunting, and uh, tragic, and yet <coughs> uplifting and transformational history, and which is why it's such an honor and such a privilege to tell you the story of my grandmother's journey tonight, of my own journey, and to take you across borders and languages and stories. And I guess I'm starting to feel quite emotional. This space is really talking to me right now. So I better start with the first song of this evening. No, nine, 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 No, 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 no,
Thank you. I would like to invite Marina Osman onto the stage. And as Marina is joining us, any guesses about that mysterious language? Try the Balkans. Can I hear you? Not quite, but close. Did somebody say Serbian? Yeah, I think you might have done, and you got it absolutely right. <laughs> Literally on this day, a year ago, I was flying to Serbia when, where it was snowing heavily, yes, in April. And uh, I was flying there to meet up with my mom and dad, who are based in Moscow, so it's quite tricky for us to see each other those days. And speaking of Moscow and of snow, this is where my story begins. I'm just a little girl standing next to my grandmother on the balcony of a high-rise apartment block in Moscow, completely mesmerized by the falling snow. And imagine a magical chain of snowflakes connecting people across great distances and perhaps even reaching over to the other side. We are all interconnected and we have far more in common than that which divides us. So let's close our eyes just for a moment and watch the snow. Wouldn't it be nice if there was that magical mesmerizing, sparkling snow in that other, instead of that horrible rain outside. Although I guess, to be honest, snow in Moscow is a different beast. You know, here everything stops and perhaps you wouldn't have even been able to make it here tonight. <laughs> so let's imagine the enchantment. Thank you. 
Thank you. Now look at the snow settled on the highlands of Ingushetia, on my grandmother's people's ancestral towers. Ingushetia, or English Republic, is known as Galgai Mokh, the land of the tower builders. So my grandmother came from that fascinating exotic, romantic land, and I, as a young girl, well, my imagination was shaken and stirred, and uh, I was enchanted by her stories. And much later, years later, when my grandmother was gone, her stories became songs that started pouring out of me. And the songs became a journey back to my grandmother's long lost home. In my bitter years of exile, in this valley foreign and cold, see it clearly in my mind's eye, my native village in my home. I'm back. It's as if I'm back in the land of my father's homeland, my dear homeland. You fill my heart. In my grandmother's homeland, they speak a different tongue. Nothing like Russian. It's called Galgaitia or English. And I will sing you a song, a traditional song from my grandmother's homeland. Partly in my grandmother's native tongue, partly in English. To tell you the story of a young girl who sacrifices herself for the sake of her family's honor, who sacrifices herself into an arranged marriage and gives up on her heart's desire. It's called Yanarbezam, or distant love. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Shruti box. And it was April Fool's Day yesterday, and yesterday I might have told you that it's a priceless family heirloom passed down countless generations in the mountains of Caucasus, but because it's not April the 1st anymore, I'm going to honestly tell you that I bought it on eBay for 75 pounds but it was delivered all the way from India, beautifully handmade. And its sound is somewhat reminiscent of the traditional instrument played by maidens in my grandmother's homeland, uh, the Highland Accordion, or Pandar. <laughs>
distant morning don't come calling distant evening don't come calling he for whom my heart is yearning distant sweetheart won't come calling he for whom my heart is yearning distant sweetheart won't come calling mother let me fetch some water mother let me see the neighbors i'm in prison in these four walls i've been promised to a rich man i'm in prison in these four walls i've been promised to a rich man Janir Irja sa ju shona Janir Sirje sa ju shona sa gadalcha go ishjotsa Janir Bjeza sa ju shona Sagatalcha, go ishiotza, ya nirpieza, sa. Thank you, or in my grandmother's native tongue, Barkal. Now my grandmother was not going to repeat this girl's story. She chose to follow her heart's desire and her heart's delight. And the stories that she told me as I was growing up in Moscow were always about willful women even traditional Russian fairy tales, the way she told them, they were transformed. So here's one, the tale of Vasilisa the Wise and her triumph over the notorious witch, Baba Yaga. All against her family, her stepmothers and stepsisters plotting, Vasilisa emerges triumphant. So let's say, hmm, exactly. So this is the tale of Cinderella, but without any sugar coating or any Disney treatment. Yes, that's good timing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Listen up and see what it takes to turn a very unfortunate situation very much in your favor. Vasilisa, it was her name. With both her beauty and her cunning, she earned her fortune and her fame. Oh, Vasilisa, tell me true. Will. 
Yes, to use it was your own will. Your cruel stepmother, your evil sisters gave you another round. They dared not try. Go fetch some wildfire from Baba Yaga. They planned and plotted that you would die. Oh, a silly song, tell me truly, did you know that your heart could kill? The woodland witch gave you the weapon, but to use it was your own will. Oh, yes, to use it was your own will. Кукука, покушай, до моего горя послушай. Живая в доме у батюшки, не вижу в себе никакой радости. Злая мачеха гонит меня с белого света. Научи ты меня, как мне быть. It's true, but you had magic, a holy blessing. There was nothing that I could do, and in a rage cried Baba Yaga, Be gone, fair maiden, and don't return. Take what you came for, unholy wildfire. So that your enemies would burn Of a silly song Tell me truly Did you know that Your heart could kill The woodland witch Gave you the weapon But to use it Was your own will Oh yes, to use it was your own will Now you're a queen in a lofty palace Do you remember when times were harsh Your cruel stepmother Your evil sisters And how you watched them Turn to It's a good one for Halloween, this one, isn't it? Yeah. Now, not all Russian fairy tales are that dark, although quite a few are, I'm not going to deny it. Uh, here's a happy one about a very cheeky firebird, hence our name, that flies into the Tsar's garden every night and steals his golden apples and feasts to her heart's content without any remorse whatsoever because she feels, well, the Tsar just keeps them under lock and key. He doesn't taste or enjoy them so what's the point so a firebird always follows her heart's desire unapologetically I'm 
a simple creature burning clear and bright, my dear. There's no guilt of conscience clouding my delight, my dear. But suddenly you are sleeping and you will never see from the golden tree. Golden apples at your fingertips. Dreams of sweetness hot up on your lips. But you are sleeping, you will never see. You will never catch me stealing from your tree. You will never catch me stealing from your tree. I think we've got just one more, then we'll take a little break, and I will tell you all about my grandmother. You'll have to wait, but it's all about love, of course. Love that moves the world. And here is a cheeky Russian song, a traditional one. You probably will recognize the tune, especially if you loved playing Tetris back in the day. About two young lovers in a field of rye who are certainly following their heart's desire, but you will have to use your imagination because there's no English in this song, only Russian. <laughs> Там до ночки покажу, а завижу черноокую, все товары разложу, а завижу черноокую, все товары разложу. Как полазили они, 
распрямись, хорош, высокая, тайна свято сохрани. Распрямись, хорош, высокая, тайна свято сохрани. So please come and say hello, maybe buy a CD and also check that Marina only has 10 fingers because I'm sure she has, yeah, she has more than that. So thank you very much, see you soon. Thank you, thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful and what an incredible duo you make, the compatibility um, of the sound of the, um, of the keyboard and the way that you work together, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Um, we're going to take a little break now. Um, we are serving. Um, this is just some warm sliced apple juice. We, um, it is available to everybody. And um, if you'd like to support us and support some of our work and places here, um, please do consider giving a donation. Um, and the bar is open. Lovely. Please join us and I'll tell you when we come back.
So please give a very warm welcome back to Daria. Thank you. Thank you. В горах, где лед вершин звенит, слышны их голоса и пашут не поля они, а пашут небеса. Where I see summits ring so clear, their voices can be heard. No earthly soil they're plowing here, but heaven's fields are stirred. Their heavy plows are pulled by clouds. Their furrows are of smoke. The sun with ever-watchful eyes observes their constant work. They sow no earthly seeds, but stars throw handfuls in the air. A song of love, the starting starts, the tune is pure and fair. Of spring it sings, of That was The Highlanders by Alika Shagulgov, Ingushetia's poet, who was deported in 1944 as an enemy of the people, aged eight months. Now let me welcome Marina Osman back onto the stage. So speaking of my grandmother's people, the Highlanders, the English, Galgai Moch, Galgaiche, their land, the land of towers standing proud and reaching tall towards the sky, the people are just as resilient as those towers. Against injustice, against oppression, they stand. And Here's the story of a very unusual woman. Her name was Lysad Baisarva, and to both her friends and her foes, she was known as the Panther. 
There's a memoir by an officer of the NKVD, or NKVD, an organization which later was known as the KGB. And in that memoir, that officer lustingly writes about this incredible entrance that Lysat made into the meeting room where they were discussing the deportation of the Chechens and the English. Yeah, just sitting there discussing how they're going to punish a whole people for allegedly being enemies of the state. A whole people of enemies of the people. A whole people whose men are fighting in the Soviet army against the Nazis, against Hitler, and yet accused of collaboration with the Nazis. Well, history is repeating, and sadly, it seems like those in charge never learn. Well, but more on Lysat. She entered the room, this proud, tall, slender Highlander girl, all the heads turned. She walked proudly like a panther. And she walked into history. Because even though she also was an officer of the NKVD, she was not to take part in the deportation and the punishment of her own people. She was English by birth and Chechen by marriage. So she disobeyed the orders. She deserted and she turned vigilante. And this is her story. Your hair is shiny black mane, lie like a panther Hundreds of hungry eyes see you as prey Orders came from above, you must obey When you are deadly and fast, a beautiful thing to watch with lust. and kill you are a soldier but you have your own free will and your conscience won't haunt you you will desert the ranks of killers and knaves and amazon doesn't serve in an army of slaves
your sniper's gone A perfect weapon you were Deadly and fast But now you are free to rest at last. <laughs> and here's another story from the same same moment in history. This time, this is the story of my grandmother and her family. When the English were thrown out of their homes on 23rd of February 1944, almost exactly 80 years ago, my grandmother was only 11 years old. And of course, she also was an enemy of the people. So was her heroic father who gave his life delivering supplies to the besieged city of Leningrad. And there is incredible bravery in simply continuing to love despite the worst injustice thrown at you. Nobody can deny the panther's bravery and courage, and yet she chose the path of violence. And sadly, violence only breeds violence in an endless cycle. My grandmother's mother chose a different path, the path of love. And she and other courageous women, English women, Chechen women, who survived against the odds, who raised their children in the wasteland of northern Kazakhstan where they were thrown out of cattle cars. They were transported like animals. Their humanity, well, the plan was to strip them of their humanity and yet their spirit was strong. The entire nation were to be completely erased from the face of the earth. Their language, their stories, their name itself was to be forgotten. And yet they endured and they survived and they returned back to their long lost home. And sadly, it's a wound that never heals. So when my grandmother followed her heart's desire and married a Russian man, by many that was seen as betrayal. But years later, they understood. But more on that, after I have shared my grandmother's most important story, that of the moon and the pilot, her parents, her father, the war hero pilot, who was to be named hero of the Soviet Union, but no, he also became a traitor overnight. And her mother, who was known as the moon for her snow white skin, framed by the darkness of her hair. And just like the moon, she shone through the darkest of times. The moon and the pilot, a match made in heaven. She hoped and waited that he'll be back soon The bravest man For the fairest maiden For he was the pilot And she was the moon
in uniform came to the village the man could fight were away at the wall by order of Stalin the children and women were shoved into rail cars and home was no more. Shine, my moon, your face made of light. Let down your head, love is the night. The pilot's wife hid all her jewels, exchanged them in exile for food and for fun. In the darkest of nights, she guided her children like the moon shining through. Deportation and war shine my moon your face made of light let down your hair black is the night She waited in vain. The return of her pilot gave a cell to her children, gave them hope, gave them life. The fairest woman, the bravest mother, she was simply the mother. The pilot's wife shine, my moon. Your face made of light. Let down your head. Чернее ночи чашу испей татна. And that was the song that changed my life. Because through this song, my grandmother was finally understood by mighty men in her clan with their mighty hats and mighty mustaches. And there was a gathering in my grandmother's ancestral village of Furtog where my English husband and myself were accepted back into the Akhriyev clan. And there was even 
an apology found for my grandmother's exclusion and exile when she lost her home for the second time since the deportation because she chose to marry a Russian. And that's how miraculously sometimes stories and songs do have power. And here's something to perhaps lighten the mood a bit about a song that I certainly did not write that has had incredible adventures across many borders and languages. And I would love you all to join us in song because I bet you will know this one under at least one of its many guises. It was written by somebody whose name you probably won't even remember, Boris Famine. He was very unlucky because when he wrote this cracking tune, everybody loved it. But one person did not. And that person's name was Joseph Stalin. Very unlucky, isn't it? And yet, many years later, about 50 years ago, um, a little bit more than that, actually, but thereabouts, this song re-emerged in a completely different linguistic guise and then took over the whole world by storm. So please do join us. We're going to sing it in four languages. One of them is English, to reassure you. And this is how it goes. first.
Спасибо. Merci beaucoup. Danke schön. Thank you very much. Yeah, we heard you. Now, something a little bit calmer. Just a simple song that states a simple truth that the more love you leave behind in this world, the longer you live on. If I was made of light rather than dust and clay, would you stay by my side? What good timing. Again. Let's hear out those bells for those departed, but they're never too far. My grandmother's always with me, and her love, which she had so much of, well, her love ensures that she will live on in the stories 
in the songs and we will love you and leave you with a hymn to love. Once again, this is a song that I most certainly did not write. Quiet Joys of Brotherhood is the name and it's a traditional Irish tune and love is Lord of all. This is what this song says. And despite everything, despite the dark times that we're finding ourselves in getting darker, where the songs that I'm singing and the stories I'm telling are no longer history, they're happening today again, all over again. In Ukraine, in the Middle East, in Syria, and so many other tragic places across the world and our humanity is eroded by somehow being so powerless to stop this madness and yet we must not lose love because at the end of the day love will win love does win it takes its time but I firmly believe, despite everything, that love is Lord of all, and it makes us human, and it makes us eternal. So thank you all so much for joining Marina and me this evening in this magical space. Thank you very much to Joe and everyone at St. Ethelburgers for making this happen. Thank you if you're watching this on live stream on YouTube too. Thanks to all of you who braved the rain and came to enjoy this moment of togetherness because there is so much power not only in songs and stories but if they're shared that's when they become truly powerful so thank you very much for helping us and big big thanks to the amazing Marina Osman of course Quiet joys of brotherhood.
to plow the tide They all lies on the ground I see their fires in the fields They drive the stallion down The roses bleed Both light and dark Thank you both so much for bringing such a beautiful and magical performance to St. Agelberger's this evening. It's a magical space. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, you know, there's something about the way that you tell the story and you bring us along with it, which has been really enchanting. And both carrying those stories of uh, loss and displacement and um, love overall. Um, and that is one of the gifts of being a city where we welcome so many people from across the world is that we get to hear the stories that sometimes we don't get to hear. So thank you both. Thank you so much. For stunning vocals, <laughs> magical fingers. And thank you all so much for coming this evening. Please give another very warm wealth, another very warm applause and appreciation to Daria and uh, Marina. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we have another one? Is it okay, Joe? Yeah? Of course, yeah, we have time. Lovely, because I think we heard you. Let's have fun with another crazy Russian one, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody.
Спасибо. Now, if you have any questions, please come and talk to us at the merchandise table as you're leaving. And also, please take a peek into my grandmother's family album because you will be able to meet her and her family. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. This program, this performance this evening, was part of a program called Listen to the World. And we host um, music from across the world on the first Tuesday of the month. So please join us on the 7th of May, where we will be um, hosting a Burundian artist called Mudiba, otherwise known as J.P. Bumeni. Um, please look on the website. Thank you so much for coming to our home. Well, thank you for braving the rain. See you soon. And thank you to T-Bow on sound. Thank you very much. And all the tech team as well. Thank you. That is always my last appreciation. There are many people. These events could not happen without an incredible team. Thibaut, Sifa, Nelson, Ahmed, Tanai, Fak, and Fam, and Jonti, and Rebecca, and Amira. Thank you so much to you all.